for an adult audience. The Dirty Dowdy podcast may contain material that may be unsuitable for sensitive ears. Listener discretion is advised. The Dirty Daddy Podcast on Longbox.fm, sponsored, of course, by Riley's Brewing. Cheers. Thank you, Riley. You know, Kenneth, you got to work on your cheers, man. You got to actually cheers like you like the beer. And I know you do. I've seen it. I do like the beer. So cheers. Give me a real cheers. Cheers. Like your rugby. <laughs> What's your rugby? What, what are you thing? doing? Don't ask for that. This is your ass. No. Mind, I, man. I'm <laughs> stop, stop, Daddy. My bad. I should know what I'm doing. Yep. <laughs> so anyways, Dirty Daddy Podcast is back here this week. Uh, an interesting, fun week as we started some new stuff. Um, yeah. Obviously, uh, we've talked, we talked about it last week. We started the new show this week on Monday, The Kick. Mm-hmm. And uh, Kevin, I know you enjoyed that. Yeah, we just basically sat around a circle and slammed a bunch of heroin. Yeah. And then Tuesday, Sounds... we had to kick it. <laughs> kick, the, nah. kick the habit. Nah. <laughs> Uh, I'm addicted to heroin now. If you if the show is live now, you can you can listen to the audio podcast. Go ahead and skip past that first seven minutes of Kevin talking. No, that's the important part. <laughs> <laughs> he starts off the very first show with, "All right, with well, I'm going to need I'm going to need you guys to give me like six or seven minutes." And our guest looks at like six or seven minutes, and he's no. like, "This is important." And he just reads the definition of socialism and mm-hmm. capitalism. Yeah, yeah, we don't and care. This market. isn't the kick. Yeah, so and private property. Yeah, yeah, it, yeah. four of them. <laughs> I, there were four definitions. You're right, and I was. It was insane for me to expect a attention span longer than one minute. Yeah, you, you killed me. <laughs> yeah, I was what, analyzing what the I've seconds become. on the the audio here as they were balancing. I was like, uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Is He's it done like, yet? Nope, still going. We nope. start off a new nope. show with the end of the new show. <laughs> and <laughs> as it turns out, Daddy actually learned something too. So no, I'm I mean, sorry about that. No, no, we didn't. Uh, no, sorry no. about that, Daddy. As a result, you forgot <laughs> uh, how to drive. Well, all right. <laughs> He learned to become a woman? Oh. <laughs> he must be gender fluid. <laughs> For tonight's show, What do I feel like we're going to hear that a lot? If you want to hang out with us, you can call in at any time, 4920450. You can Skype in, Longbox FM. Scotty will be here shortly to be Eventually. working on the chat room and the Skype. So try blowing her up now so she'll feel bad about being late. <laughs> yeah. She lives here and she's late. It's insane. So should we kick her right off? Things we learned? Let's kick it. Let's do it. Nah. Stay on the cycle, killer! That was wrong. <laughs> now, it's time to showcase what we have learned in the last week. Well, Star. Well, I learned that without intern Pete, uh, I ain't got no one to bring me no medical is. So we, he was he was your dealer? No. <laughs> <laughs> That's an affirmative head nod. It was just a convenient shortstop. That's all. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> He's the reason I was on time. Alex. <laughs> <laughs> um, I learned uh, actually earlier today that I, I really don't have much respect for a security guard riding on a Segway with a helmet. No. <laughs> <laughs> That's why they invented Segways. So you like, know exactly like, who to uh, hate. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't have a whole lot of respect for you, buddy. Sorry. Yeah. 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 There's something be... about being able to stop you in your tracks with an acorn. <laughs> <laughs> Yep, yep. So that was that was very entertaining. Uh, I literally came up with that literally. You know, Can a Segway go faster than a guy running I, in any scenario? I don't think so. Okay. And I feel like when you would step off the Segway, you'd probably fall down so you couldn't catch the guy anyway. <laughs> That's yeah. the worst device for mall security ever. Mm-hmm. It is. Kenneth, did you learn anything in that big red brain of yours? Nope. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Sounds about right. Yeah. I've learned through binge watching that Daredevil is goddamn fantastic. That's what I've heard. Hmm. I'm on season two. I've got Punisher now, and that's one of my faves growing up. So that, I'm super, super stoked right now. I'm I've actually learned. thinking about just ending the show <laughs> right now so I can finish season two. No, no, don't do that. Don't okay. do that. I learned after looking at kind of this gorgeous facial hair that I, I might actually want to dye my hair uh, red. And you could, you could call me transgendered. Transgender. I gotta put that. Transgender. Oh my God! No, 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 no! Get it out now before Monday. No, oh no, that's all. It's <laughs> already. It's gonna be the whole yeah. fucking show. I also, learned, I'm looking really excited to our first batch of hate mail. <laughs> <laughs> my house is gonna burn down. Yep. I heard uh, Dan Stein talking earlier today. He wasn't sure if Hillary had declared herself a woman yet. 
<laughs> They're not even sure what she identifies as. Angry. <laughs> Withered. Evil, evil, <laughs> evil incarnate? <laughs> Well, guys, with all things, uh, <laughs> angel of death. Do you want to push the uh, hashtag Make Fresno Better? So we try to make Fresno better. I think it's self-explanatory. Uh, little things, anything. Can you go a little further into that, Dowdy? Yeah, hold a door sure. open for somebody. Make eye contact and don't over talk. Maiden of misery. So don't over talk. Yeah, don't over talk. Oh, mm, okay. yeah. <laughs> I think let's make Fresno podcast better. And that's a really long hashtag. Yeah, I tried to shorten it. There's a lot of effort to make that hashtag better. And remember, guys, you can uh, you can check out not only our show but any Fresno Valley podcast that I know of so far. They're all on Longbox.fm now. So we're the Central Valley hub for all Central Valley podcasts. Sweet. Look at that. All right. It only cost yeah. me eight dollars. Well, got to start somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so yeah, go go to the website, check it out, give some love, give some subscribes, all that fun things. I'm done with that. Tonight we've got a fun show. We've got. Coming up here, the Celebrity Clam Bake. Alex has got some things that'll put your house on fire. And yep. um, we have our guest in tonight, Sahab, hanging out, drawing it up on a, on a page. I knew that I knew drawing was going to come. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> if you troll his Facebook at all, it's just like all drawing. So I, I thought, I sh- you know, I should put some colored pencils out for you. Have some fun with that. So we'll be talking with you and also testing some of your skills with a game that we got, the Rewind game today. Sweet. So we'll be doing that, talking a little bit about Sahab and his music and what's going on in the Valley, and maybe some scenes that need some help. We'll get into all that fun stuff. But for now, we're going to take a quick break, and when we come back, we're going to be doing the Celebrity Clam Bake. It's all here on Longbox.fm. We'll be right back. The Dirty Daddy Podcast on Longbox.fm. Make YouTube your tube by searching out Longbox FM on YouTube.com. It's music, videos, and live webcasts. Watch it all at YouTube.com by searching out Longbox FM. Hi, my name is Lindsay, and I'm searching for love. I want to do music because I know people need my music. People need Kanye West albums. My real apology to her will not come in the form of words. When people say that I'm not like an airhead and things like that, it's not true at all. All the stupid things celebrities do, it's the Celebrity Clan Bank. All right, Dirt Daddy Podcast here with the Celebrity Clam Bake on Longbox.fm, brought to you by Radley's Brewing. Thank you, Radley. Cheers. And uh, a little side of sadness for Kenneth. <laughs> All right. The usual you? sadness, That's right? usual. That's part yeah, of the course. That's a normalcy. <laughs> anyway. So, haven't gotten laid yet, huh? Nope. I'm not saying. <laughs> <laughs> no. I'm going to guess that's a no, then. Um, we're not going to start off with celebrities or stupid news just yet. We are going to go to... The June primary elections that happened yesterday. I thought you said there wasn't going to be any stupid news. Or useless news. (laughs) No, no, stupid news or celebrity news. It's not either. It's... It's pointless news. Um, it's <laughs> the humplery. It's it's election news. Did humplery win? Uh, uh, I'm gonna get there. I'm gonna get there. We're gonna start off with State Prop 50, which is a California state proposition that said when uh, when state senators or assembly members are uh, are kicked off and suspended, they don't get paid for it. So that's that's good. So they aren't paying people like Lee and Yee who ran arms and did shit like that. Now we just need to suspend any politician for the first time in history. No, no. They've <laughs> done it actually three times in the past two years. Oh. Okay. Out of <laughs> out of right. the four politicians? Right. Yep. yep. Get one of those, Alex. <laughs> All right. <laughs> like, yeah, shut up. <laughs> uh, let's see. One was for running guns. The other one was for accepting bribes. And the third one was for... He was Printing. actually uh, had a lawsuit or something like that. Uh, it was a really bad lawsuit, though. One was racketeering. Yeah, it was great. Sweet. Rac- yeah. Cool. Also known as politics. Yeah. 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 Um, measure C, which is a local bond measure to fund the city colleges, passed. 
65%. Um, Fresno City Council District number six. Ooh, ooh, we had some interest in that. Yes, we did. We had them out here on the show, and that was dominated by Gary Bradfeld with 50.35% of the vote. I'm not sure if he has it because he didn't reach 51%. They may be doing a runoff between him and Jeremy Elvis Pierce uh, come November. How'd the kid do? He got 595 votes. <laughs> well done, kid. Including yeah, no, you can't give him some love for that. Hey, yeah, 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 probably yeah. even most of the you people on this show. It was, that, <laughs> it was a smile, man. That kid had a good smile. Um, Fresno <laughs> mayoral race. Uh, Henry Perea was the clear leader with 43.8%, and Lee Brand got 31%. <laughs> 31.93, if you want to be exact. So they'll be um, doing oh, a runoff do. in November to see who actually gets the seat. Um, Supervisor District Number 5, Nathan Magsig won. Supervisor County, Fresno County Supervisor District Number 3, Sal Quintero won. Uh, 8031. We, we had a horse in that race, and well, that horse uh, still losing. is dead. Um, Joaquin <laughs> Rambula won the Democrat with 55. By the way, we're still waiting for him. His chair is marked yeah. over there. I know, it is still, still welcome on the show. Holly Carter's <laughs> chair is there, too, but she got dominated. In that, in that uh, district number six race, um, eighty thirty one, Jim Patterson won that one again. Um, Congr- Congressional district uh, number twenty two, which is the National Congress. Devin Nunes, of course, won. <laughs> David Valadeo in the twenty first Congress <laughs> district won. Sixteenth Congress district, yeah. Jim Costa dominated there, sixty five percent. It's pretty solid. Um, the 4th Congress District, Tom LeClintock, won unopposed, so I hope he got 75% of the votes. Um, for U.S. State Senator... <laughs> wait, wait, wait. If you run unopposed and you get 48% of the vote... 75%. Do you lose? Do you, no, I know, but if you get 48%, do you... It depends on if the write-in got more votes. It's happened before. So Ooh. it's still a top vote getter. It's still top vote getter, yeah. You got to be a real loser piece of shit if you run on a post and still lose. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I've got to run next time. <laughs> um, uh, Barbara Boxer is finally retiring from the United oh. States Senate. Good. God. But she's going to get replaced by either a Democrat or a Democrat. A uh, Democrat from San Francisco or a Democrat from L.A. So There's got- no Democrats in San Francisco. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> uh, Loretta Sanchez of Los Angeles was in the lead with 21.78%. And Kamala D. Harris, who's our uh, the wrestler state for WWE attorney general, she was at 20.78, not too far behind. They are going to be running off. Is it wrong that I wanted to go November? to Congress? Just belly hanging out, slapping it, going ah, just like Kamala. Have you from seen yes. what yes, Kamala D. Harris looks like? No, but I'm, I don't want so to ruin the image just, in my head. Yeah, uh, yeah, I, I'm fine with me. <laughs> yeah. um, for the Republican ticket for the President of the United States, the POTUS, uh, yeah, Humplery. Just uh, say Humplery. No, no, no. <laughs> this is for the Republican. So it's it's Donald Trump. Donald Humplery. He, Trump. He's all about that hashtag MAGA. Good for him. Ugh. Good then, for this world. And then for the, uh, <laughs> the president of the United States on the Democratic ticket, we've got um, Shillery Clinton. Um, yep. yep. Uh, Billery. Shillery. Billery. Shillery. Because uh, she's a shill. Uh, she got 58% of the vote in Fresno County. She actually did about like 75% in the state of California. And she got the uh, she got the nod over Bernie Sanders, who only had 38% in Fresno. So all those people were marching, they didn't make it? Or they were the only ones that voted. Aw. Yeah. Fortunately. Sorry, world. We're all going to burn. It's not. <laughs> well, actually, we're not going to no, feel the burn. We, we oh, will. No, it's just no we will burn. feel a burn. We're just going to get the chill. With a U, man. With a U. No, we're U. literally going to burn. <laughs> we're just, we got chillery. Chillery. She's got no chill, though. Netflix and chillery. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> right, I'll, I'll just stay home. <laughs> Write it. That's, that's what in. you normally do. That's what you normally do. Can't just... go through Redbox instead. Fuck uh, no, you, no, no, you go through Red too. You Netflix um, and jerk. Mm. Ellen DeGeneres. Okay, we're 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 done with the election news. That stuff's all. Oh, out of thank yay. <laughs> Um, so now we're on to one. celebrity news. Uh, that looks like Titty Pierce, but it really spells T.T. Pierce. Um, Ellen DeGeneres is getting sued over her titty joke. Um, a Georgia woman... Um, <laughs> Would be Georgia. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> has her paintings in a ringer over joke Ellen DeGeneres told on her show. In fact, she was so upset. She's suing the show... Uh, suing the show producers for allegedly besmirching her good name. In a segment called What's Wrong With These Signs, Ellen showed a real estate sign advertising a broker named T.T. Pierce. Um, Ellen assumed, as we would have, that it's pronounced Teddy. Um, but T.T. 
uh, as grammar dictates, is pronounced T. T, as I've said like eight times. Um, Pierce says the lawsuit, um, in her lawsuit, no one has ever made such an error in the 35 years on this planet that she's been here. As such, she's suing face. for defamation and invasion <laughs> of privacy. Um, the name calling apparently led to immediate ridicule and raucous laughter from the show's live and television performance. Uh, live television audience. Sorry, it's been one of those days. Um, Pierce says she suffered emotional distress, embarrassment, and anger. She was even getting angry that her information was not blurred out as it is in the picture we showed what? just a moment ago. T.T. Pierce is obviously a victim, and someone should get her, at the very minimum, some free health care. <laughs> very minimum. <laughs> you know what? I wonder if she's ever played a game at Twister. Boo. Yeah. Nah. Boo. <laughs> Boo. I got that. Yeah. Boo. That's, it, she's yeah. not too old for free college, is she? Uh, uh, uh. Someone get that woman something for free. <laughs> yeah, she got free publicity. I'm, I'm sure she's going to use this to her advantage. I think she should open yeah. a tattoo and piercing shop. I think so. I think I think this helped her find her real calling. <laughs> we call it ta- tattoo. Oh, no. Wow. <laughs> well, I was going to say TT piercing, but you know. TT piercing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 Please move on. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Give us life. <laughs> Famous for bum fights and backyard brawls. He's passed away at the age of 42. Um, they have confirmed. Uh, Slice was hospitalized early Monday near his home in Coral Springs, Florida. He passed away a short time later. The CEO of Bellator MMA confirmed the news, saying, uh, We're all shocked and saddened by the devastating and untimely loss of Kimbo Slice, a beloved member of the Bellator MMA family. One of the most popular MMA fighters ever, Kimbo was a charismatic, larger-than-life personality that transcended the sport. Um, outside of the cage, he was a friendly, gentle giant and devoted family man. His loss leaves us with extremely heavy hearts, and our thoughts and prayers are uh, with the entire Ferguson family and all of Kimbo's friends, fans, and teammates. Um, t- uh, details around his death are unclear. His, uh, Kimbo, his real name is Kevin Ferguson, uh, last fought in Bellator 149 back in February and defeated Dada 5000. I feel like he came but in. The victory was overturned when Slice tested positive for a banned steroid. Dowdy, what did you say earlier? I, I, I said. No overtalk. Shut your mouth. <laughs> Back in 2003, oh. Slice became an internet <laughs> sensation for his backyard fighting videos, destroying several opponents in unsanctioned street fights. He later signed a deal to fight in the M- uh, the UFC. He competed on The Ultimate Fighter back in 2009. While his MMA career never really blossomed, he was undefeated as a boxer with a 7-0 and zero record. Wasn't he that guy that had that song, uh, Space Odyssey? No. Oh, no, it was Beat It. No. Right? No. Oh, no. oh I'm sorry. I-, I will always love you. No. Didn't he die in a plane crash? No. Mm. Who am I thinking of? Everybody else who has more fame and talent <laughs> and ability, reach, oh, fans. Right. I'm thinking of Aaliyah. No, this guy came into life. <laughs> <laughs> this guy came into life with a whole lot of hype, and then he tapped out early. Mm. Uh, that was bad puns. Mm-hmm. Bad puns. Mm-hmm. At least mine had a history lesson. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> Next story. All right, left eye. Um, <laughs> this one goes out to Jason, who's not here. The game, Chicago's uh, Chi Town is too gangster for me. The game uh, believes he's dodging real life bullets in Chicago now that a judge has granted his request to postpone a court hearing. According to legal docs, the rapper asked the judge to push a June 16th hearing for a sexual assault lawsuit in Illinois. Uh, he cited a massive outbreak of violence over Memorial Day weekend in the city, where about 70 people were shot and six died. Um, the game thinks it's likely there will be a bunch of revenge shootings, and he fears he could be caught in the crossfire. Uh, Priscilla Rainey, who filed this suit against the game, didn't oppose his request. The judge signed off. Has set a new. They haven't set a new date yet, but the trial is set to start in November unless the game and Rainey reach a settlement. Or get shot in the head. Or get shot in Chicago. Yeah. Probably more likely. Yeah, actually, probably. Yeah, more Can more we go like- do a GoFundMe to shoot him? No, no, no. Well, not, not now. <laughs> <laughs> now that you said it, it's a little too late for that. Oh, okay, my bad. Let's just rewind and pretend that didn't happen. Speaking of ah! lawsuits, uh, Ed Sheeran has been sued. Um, someone says he jacked Photograph, a song he recently came out with. Ed Sheeran's hit song, Photograph, is a total ripoff, according to a new lawsuit fi- uh, filed by two songwriters. According to Legal Docs, Sheeran's photography blatantly copied huge chunks from the song Amazing, written by Martin Harrington and Thomas Leonard for the X Factor Season 7 winner, Matt Cardle. Oops. Who watched is the X Factor. Uh, interesting no to note, the songwriters hired the same attorneys that won a $7.4 million judgment against Robin Thicke and Pharrell's Blurred Lines just two years ago. They're suing for copyright infringement and seeking more than $20 million in damages. We reached out to Sharon for they reached out to Sharon for a comment, but they have not heard anything back. 
Does the artist actually get sued, or does the uh, the record company have to pay anything on that? You know, I, I think it's Good probably question. production related. So whoever is tagged as a producer slash songwriter on the song is probably the one that's going to get their so shit. Cut. Are you saying that there's a chance one of these artists has to go into a courtroom and say, no, Honor, I swear this wasn't me. I actually have no talent. They write it all for me. I just read the words. That's what I was talking about last <laughs> week with Skrillex <laughs> Diplo and... Um, <laughs> Yeah, screw I want blow. this moment. Yeah. Whoever whoever is getting the primary check off that. I mean, uh, if they pay the producers up front and they don't get a percentage on the back end, then it's just going to be whoever is getting the percentages, probably. When they're oh, thinking God, of the that. amount that they sue for, do they just come up with a random number, or are they actually doing research of how much these guys made? Um, it's like, ah, oh, fuck it, twenty million. I think they figure out if if like one third of the population was dumb enough to download it on iTunes, add that number up. Yeah, they just look for a percentage of it. So like, if he sold, you know. 60 million downloads, which is absolutely possible with that Sharon at a dollar download. Hmm. And that's, you know, he gets, you know, 35 cents of that. So, I mean, it's some solid money. Coke money. Mm, if you're doing it right. Solid bricks of Coke money. <laughs> 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 Your check is just a kilo. <laughs> Speaking Thank of bricks, <laughs> uh, we're going to go to Turlock. Ooh. We went from a God Sharon to Turlock. Is that you, Kenneth? <laughs> Uh, Kenneth, what were you doing in Turlock? Yeah, well, I have a tattoo on my back, so no. <laughs> <laughs> that That's was a not me. Stamp, um, isn't it? <laughs> the Butt Crack Bandit steals plants from Turlock restaurant. Down. Oh gosh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking, you're the one that bitches about overtalk the most. Yeah, but that, that, was, that, no, was that was not gold. That was genius. That was that was a, literally a shit pile of shit. See, you're, you're Giant turd comes out, coming, out of, coming out of a butt crack. Be- uh, big turds come out of where? Butt crack. Uh, wheelbarrow is typically considered yoga. a burglary <laughs> tool, but in this case, the, the plant theft at Cotta Kitchen in Turlock, one was used as a getaway vehicle. Yes, the theft was captured on the restaurant's security cameras. The thief rolling his wheelbarrow onto the porch at 80, 833 East Main Street just before 10 p.m. on Wednesday night. The shirtless man bent slightly down Ben slightly to set down the wheelbarrow, exposing the top of his uh, posterior and earning him the name the Buttcrack Bandit uh, from the owner, Angela Cotta. Uh, however, the bandit then leaves, maybe to retrieve a shirt, because he's wearing one upon his return 15 minutes later. Um, he can then be seen taking, uh, talking on a cell phone while he paces in front of the business. Um, this guy's got a lot... Uh, oh, gosh. He's got to live really close if he's using a wheelbarrow to steal his stuff. He proceeded to pull plants from the planter next door, uh, next to the front door. Um, I'm not even going to say what they are. Well, unless he's plant. on crack or... It's a fucking plant. <laughs> that you can grow it. And then he stole a Japanese yeah. maple, maple yanking hard uh, two or three times, but then conceding defeat once he realized he could not pull a Japanese maple out of, so you, out of the ground. So you go to nearby neighborhoods and you just look at the guy who has the best landscaping that looks like it shouldn't match anything that's surrounding the area. And a bunch of wheelbarrow tracks. <laughs> in yard. And you see him working in his yard with butt cracking out. Yeah. He mm. probably went to go get a shirt and he came back. He's like, now nah, they'll never be able to call me anything stupid like the butt crack bandit. Posting wanted posters in his neighborhood. Have you seen this ass? <laughs> I recommend that guy goes and steals a belt. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, probably should. Um, in April, the Turlock Garden Club planted flowers and other plants in 40 pots on East and West Main Streets between Lander and Palm Street and Turlock. The following week, five of the pots had been vandalized and uh, they were kind of disappointed. The plants in all three of the pots had been carefully dug out while the other two flowers were cut and left lying in the pot, which means that people had, they were bored and went out of their way, vandalized the plants. Yeah. That's There's just, not a lot to do with Turlock. Really, <laughs> they've got great beer there. There's good brewery there. Dust Bowl. It's tasty. I just thought Turlock. I thought I'd bring it back to the valley, but it Free was disappointing. Disappointing. <laughs> On to the news, uh, you know, um, on the next one, that guy probably was walking across the street willy-nilly, but this alligator in Florida traverses the intersection on the crosswalk. Yes, see, this is a law-abiding alligator in Florida, photographed by police using the crosswalk to stroll across a busy street and return to his habitat. The Flagler County Sheriff's Office said in a Facebook post that deputies received a report around 9.20 a.m. Monday about an alligator in some bushes uh, near a busy Palm Coast intersection. The post said the alligator, which measured more than five feet long darted out into the street and deputies stopped traffic to slow the reptile uh, to allow the reptile to use the crosswalk he just walked across the crosswalk like it was normal the sheriff's office shared a photo of the spectacle snapped by mark olson a member of the sheriff's citizens observer program um deputy said a trapper from the florida fish and wildlife conservation commission was called to the scene but was canceled before arriving when the alligator wandered through a wooded lot and returned to its natural habitat so the cop 
has a camera to capture this, but not the police brutality. No, no, no. That was the uh, Citizens Observation Program. Oh, yeah. okay. Cool. Immediately afterwards, cops fired 62 bullets into the alligator and they charged <laughs> it with resisting arrest. And then sprinkled crack on it. <laughs> sprinkled some crack. Like, it has a gun. We're getting our quota today, Johnson. <laughs> it has a gun. <laughs> Danger. <laughs> dart it out into the street. I've seen gators move. That fucker cannot dart into the street. <laughs> he came Does he me. move faster than you, Kenneth? No. He ran at me with a purpose, your officer. <laughs> your officer. All right. Speaking of Kenneth, um, FDA, people are overdosing on anti-diarrhea drugs. Good job, uh, Kenneth. Federal health mm. officials are investigating sometimes deadly overdoses with common anti-diarrhea drugs, a bizarre manifestation of the nation's drug abuse problem. The primary ingredient in prescription imodium and similar over-the-counter drugs, uh, loperamide, is intended to control diarrhea, but abusers sometimes try to achieve a heroin-like high by taking massive doses and then never pooping again. Um, up to 300 milligrams at I, once. I don't think those two collaborate According with each other. According to cases... <laughs> In the medical literature, (laughs) Kenneth. Oh yeah, it's it's horrible. A recommended dose range between eight and sixteen milligrams. So they're going they're going high. Um, The agency has received thirty one reports of people hospitalized due to heart problems, including ten deaths over the last thirty nine years. No, they're all full of shit. (laughs) This has killed tens Ah. of tens of people. (laughs) There are dozens of us. Um, Jesus, (laughs) they're getting shit faced. But a CBS. News reported last month, National Poison Control Centers experienced 71% increase in calls, but 71% of like 10 is like 17. That doesn't count. Oh, it's a a new thing. This is a really shitty article. (laughs) 48.6, I'm Alex, the numbers robot. (laughs) Just because I can do math. (laughs) Yeah, basic math, nerd. (laughs) Fuck. Go back to college. <laughs> Use your words properly. <laughs> go, go, go to this story. This is important. Slot couldn't make it tonight. This, but this is was... this one goes out to. Oh wait, gosh, no. There's an extra one on here, motherfucker. You just wait for it. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> this one, uh, we go to Albuquerque, New Mexico, where a man starts a fire in an apartment over neighbors having loud sex. Uh, an Albuquerque man was arre- uh, who wanted some peace and quiet is now in big trouble. Police arrested 36-year-old Ruben Cook. Hey, he's about your same age, Dowdy. Mm-hmm. Um, after a fire at his apartment near Asuna and Academy, uh, according to the criminal complaint, Cook admitted to starting the fire because his neighbors were having sex and making too much noise. Mm-hmm. He mm-hmm. then decided he would rather go to prison and get away from the noise, according to the complaint. Mm-hmm. He could have just left. Cook told officers Sometimes he started no. the fire with a lighter, which they then found in his pocket. On Tuesday, Cook was released on his own recognizance. He is currently facing charges for arson. Something tells me somebody was supposed to li- hear this part. Yeah, this yeah, I mean, yeah. That isn't here now. Well, let's just say, let's just say, I don't know, like a Sunday happened, and uh, <laughs> for some reason, I decided to do a whole bunch of promo work and mic stuff in the studio. Oh, and it comes through, right? Oh my god, so fucking loud! It was like it was like murder sex. I feel like you need to take those sound editors and put them in his room. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff I need to do in his do, room. Do According you, to this guy, your logic should be to set fire to the room. Do anything in his room, actually? <laughs> do, do you yeah. think that he had sex? Make sure you're wearing gloves and then and maybe murdered a her, <laughs> or did he murder her and then have sex? No, with it was like <laughs> murder. Sounds like she's not. She's not just loud. She's screaming almost like I sh- should. I go in there and save her. And That's what gets her they off. went for the marathon thing. So they <laughs> went seven times in that day. So I'm sitting here. I turn on the record and I'm like, okay, we'll go. Dirty Daddy podcast here, and you're ah, ah, and I was like, God damn it! So you know, I, I tried it again. I waited until they got like uh, they kept against Jason they got goes quiet. for like forty five fucking minutes. So I go into the room to go play a video game, and I heard a break, and I was like, okay. So I get up in here, I start recording. Ah, 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 well, fuck. So finally I put the that mic like a baby out crying. to the wall. <laughs> and I recorded them fucking. You know, when someone have tells a sound me... Bite. Let's hear it. Do we have a sound bite? <laughs> on the break. What, what, do you, what do I you hear, have that sound bite, Abby? I do somewhere, yeah. Oh, <laughs> so, come on. You didn't have it queued up. You didn't have it queued up. Ready no, no, to go. I'm going to save you it for a night that he's here. You knew were going to talk about it. I'm waiting for a night that he's here. Just do it right now. No, let's no, let's no. hear it for it's the studio audience. When somebody audience. tells me that they <laughs> that they have sex seven times in a marathon, that's not Im- impressive to me. That, it's not that, even fun. Yeah, to me, that sounds like you're not good at having sex. Like, it's taking you seven <laughs> tries to get sex over with. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's what I hear. <laughs> It was like an eight-hour period of just like I felt so like Edward Norton, and, e. <laughs> and I and I had uh, Bonham Carter and and Brad Pitt in the room just banging all day long, and I wanted to kill. Th- I was Jack's angry nipple. Poor Brad Pitt. 
<laughs> All right. Well, that's enough about Dowdy's rant. Um, that's something he learned this week, apparently. Uh, this is a stupid story that Dowdy added for me, which You're I'm welcome. never happy about because the last time he did this, it was a Wookiee. Um, <laughs> Tila goes Tila. Oh, I, oh if there's I one, saw this, I knew it was going to pop up on if there's here. There's one celeb who really knows how to go. Ta- yeah, if there's one celeb who really knows how to go crazy on Twitter uh, on a Twitter rant uh, that has this question their mental stability, it's definitely Tila Tequila, and oh. she's done it again. In the past, the the shot at love star uh, has been known to make some pretty ridiculous Nazi comments, claim the Earth is flat, and somehow even get her fans to pay for her furniture. Slacko killed. Um, well, Tila's most <laughs> recent controversy could top them all when she posted to pick herself on. Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter on Tuesday with a caption talking about hunting down illegal immigrants. I'm guessing she was headed to the Home Depot. Um, The the 34-year-old shared, ain't nothing better than riding around Texas in my cowboy boots to hunt down these damn illegals. Hashtag send them back. Those aren't cowboy boots. Now, I always thought that she was contractually (laughs) obligated to die once MySpace became unimportant. I really wish it was... um, I really wish it had been that. I'm just going to say hashtag Home Depot. I I think she's breach of contract by being alive still. (laughs) No, she's the gift that keeps on giving, man. Wasn't she a robot? Oh, that's what it was. Yeah, and she's the chosen one from God. But she is a clone at the same time. Mm. It's all making sense now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So it's that Asian sex robot. Gotta love myself. Oh yeah, those are everywhere. Yeah, yeah, totally. Yeah, she's like forty bucks mm-hmm. <laughs> at the Home Depot. Well, Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna take a quick break here. We're gonna come back. We have our guest Saab, who's been drawing it up. We're gonna be finally talking with him. We're gonna get some music in from him too as well during this break, and then something special coming on after we talk with you. Um, it's all gonna go on here next. It's the Dirty Daddy Podcast here on Longbox FM. You're listening to the Dirty Dowdy Podcast on Longbox.fm. This segment of the show is brought to all right all right it's the dirt daddy podcast back here in the longbox.fm studios brought to you by rally's brewing thanks Riley. thank you Riley, <laughs> and thank you Cotty, for uh listening to the be here early and on the show you yeah. heard i told everybody 30 minutes early you took that as an hour late yeah one out of two ain't bad <laughs> <laughs> that's like an a in common core math thanks thanks babe You're doing there, good work there's a balance you know so let me know when that balance uh give me give me a definite on that you and timing i've just never figured out <laughs> neither have i obviously <laughs> clearly hey she's late here but she's never late oh uh. <laughs> Oh, uh, speaking of babies and yeah, pumping them out, uh, Sahab, how you doing, man? Good. <laughs> <laughs> the you hell? Like, I pump out babies. Yeah, you like to pump out that baby juice, whether on a on a stick or being the stick? Oh, yes, sir. <laughs> That's what we want to hear. And there yeah, goes the making very... the guests feel awkward. <laughs> All right, <laughs> Sahab so, looks like he's got want... pretty fertile hair. You know? <laughs> pretty fertile. Like, don't get too close. You might end up pregnant. He's the Troy <laughs> Troy Palomalu of uh of DJs. I just want everyone, every listener, to know I don't support this racism or sexism. <laughs> that this. Uh, <laughs> 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 <He will>. Thanks, <laughs> Wes. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyways, uh, we we have uh, been getting to know you a lot uh, during actually everything off the mic. I, I think that we should start bringing mics with us everywhere we go. Nope. Except for some of the <laughs> pot related stuff that happens. Nope. Probably not. Not a good idea. Try that already. <laughs> really not a good that's, idea. That's at all. called evidence. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the Dirt Daddy Podcast. Uh, so you are. What's the best way to describe you? Electronic artist, DJ. How do we do it? Just a musician. 
trying to live. Well, then look at me. I'm an asshole trying to put you in a box. You don't belong. Uh, riveting. <laughs> don't put, nobody puts baby in a corner. Yeah. Don't ever put except baby. For, baby. Except for Gowdy because he's a douchebag. <laughs> yeah, don't put baby in a box. <laughs> That's a winning reference right there. That better be written down. <laughs> Somewhere. Uh, so anyways, uh, you, you've been performing and here. being around the... Uh, <laughs> okay, don't molest the goddamn... You guys know how much I hate that. Oh, it's better now. <laughs> he started it's, it. No, you could just keep talking like you were. <laughs> I hate you guys so much. Um, we love you too, Daddy. Thanks, man. I'm looking at your penis still. Yep. Uh, <laughs> you've, been, uh, you've been performing, playing around Fresno. How long now? Too long. Too long is the right answer. <laughs> uh, shit, man. Like ten years. Really? Ten years playing. You sounded so disappointed. Like I just, I thought, I, like when I was in high school, the uh, window of opportunity was so ginormous, and um, I just, I thought it would be different, you know. But it's still cool. But you know, just yeah, ten years. <laughs> All right. Well, you've been uh, you've been playing around in some bigger events here. You know, we were talking a lot about the Grizzly Fest, and and we can possibly touch on the that. The Grizzly Schmess. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Not allowed to say names, dog. Oh, oh I can, now. and I'll get sued. That's okay. Yeah. I, I'm down with that. <laughs> he likes to collect those. I have the cease and desist letters just stacking as I go oh on doing this program. Oh my god. Somehow he feels proud of that. It would be good to have one that's not, not doing, from a you, politician. Yeah. You can't spell merit without demerit. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't that the truth? <laughs> Oddly enough, Dowdy doesn't really know how to spell. Thanks. Thanks again. for. I'm glad you showed up for this. <laughs> Thanks, angry girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> he also has trouble speaking, but that's another story. And he puts baby in a box, yep. which Fast. baby yeah. don't like. Oh my god. I, I'm, t- I'm gonna be out of this thing here. <laughs> um... So you're you not only perform, you're obviously an artist, and I'm going to be capturing everything that you are writing or drawing up on this page. Oh, you could have this. Yeah, it's going in a frame. It's um, doodles. It's I was actually thinking, important. can you just give us new logos, and then we'll uh, we'll steal them from you? Yeah. Sweet. Perfect. <laughs> new logos every <laughs> month. That's it. There we, it is. Perfect. <laughs> it's baby in a box, <laughs> which is what you <laughs> try to do. Look, he's in a fish tank. Fish tanks boxes. I'm going. That's a box in your mind, <laughs> around your mind. You know, fu- <laughs> glass case of emotion. <laughs> Fuck branding, dude. I'm totally changing the show. We're the baby in the box. Or baby in the podcast? No. 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 Never mind. Dirt Daddy Podcast back here yeah. again. It's more organic. Uh, <laughs> where would you, uh. Oh, God. Where do we go? You're, uh. You were talking about your private club. Well, it's more of like. I think that go to the beginning of this cuz okay, this, this is so, going to talk on we're going to get into <clears throat> artist venue You can ask me yeah. whatever you want. Okay, so just you, straight up. I'm sure everyone anyone who um cares already knows what happened. So I've heard that you've been a little upset lately with certain people and venues and and Yeah, yeah. just uh, um menus. Yeah, schmenus and sh- certain schmestivals <laughs> um by certain uh <laughs> managers that try to put on their schmartesses. Wait, and, uh, Kevin Smith the... managed you? No. Oh, no. I wish. Oh, smod, not schmosh. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so, got the wrong um, one. Yeah, but uh and I just, for me, this, what, what I, what I'm doing for myself is I'm, uh, gonna, uh, throw shows at my art studio, which is at, uh, Broadway studios. Um, because like we talked about, I think, um, that <clears throat> like my fan base that really cares, that's really tuned in at the shows is as big as that studio is, which is around 50 people, you know? Well, you, um, you were saying outside, you don't need 250. You don't need 3,000. Yeah, because yeah, cause you could be at a show with 250, 500, 1,000 people that don't give a fuck, you know? You could, you could get paid and play those shows, but what is the point of that, you know? You could play a, those little wine festivals they have, um, and they pay good because they get a big budget for entertainment. Um, so I know a lot of bands that play that and they get, you know, whatever. Um, but they're just background music, you know, they're like, 
it's not important, you know? Mm-hmm. Um, but the people that do care that go to shows, especially in um, Shmresno, um <laughs> I think it's, for me anyways, it's like a, around 50 people, you know? And at this last art hop, we tried it, uh, me and my homie Laura, we uh, tried it out as kind of like a test you know we we were doing art hop anyways um and we said let's try it out let's do back-to-back dj sets and there's a good like 20 minutes there where it really felt like a little tiny ass venue there's like people dancing and there's the cool guy hanging out by the door you know or on on the wall so you'd rather have a smaller more intimate crowd yeah there for you that's how it's always been for me from the beginning you know um when i did shows alone i i only did started making electronic music because that was the most convenient way to continue making music and not have to rely on band members that are always late or band members that um care more about anything else than they do about uh being a musician you know um so I, yeah exactly <laughs> so um i decided as a, a, a at an early age like 16 17 after like three of my bands broke up then i'm not gonna join bands anymore you know because they, they just keep falling apart and it, i started like i don't know writing music on piano and singing and doing that thing and um i would play shows in like hanford and shit and these little coffee houses and so you and, like the smaller just, yeah that's just what i'm used to and that's what i feel like we're not gonna find you at wembley Opening up for Deadmau9 uh, in front of I don't know, maybe. I mean, shit, if, like, Deadmau5... Uh, no, 9. nine. Not, oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Shmedmau, <laughs> shmau. Uh, I don't know, man. I mean, I'm also, like... I also like better equipment, and I like... Um, so the balance putting between food on paid. the table yeah. for my baby <laughs> in a cool way that I'm that I like, you know. I don't want to be working jobs that I don't like just mm-hmm. to live, you know. I'd rather be doing music and if Schmedma Five hits me up and is like, "Hey man, <laughs> I want you to play this schmoncert <laughs> and you're schmopening and like, holy and you're getting Schmidt. made like schmen thousand dollars or schmunts shum, 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 something, you know. There are like people that. hitting their computers right now going, "What's going on? The connection <laughs> is bad." It's like Andy Kaufman with the TV thing. <laughs> um, what we in some of the series, and we we've done this more and more, and I really like getting into this artist versus promoter versus venue. You had some strong opinions on what's wrong with the artist side of things. Well, um, I just at I'm I'm fucking going to be thirty this year, so yeah, poor the baby fa- man. The, the fact that I'm thirty and I'm still doing this regardless of what level it is or how much I'm getting paid or um, who I'm opening up for or who signed me or whatever, I, I feel like as a musician who's serious about his craft, there's a certain amount of uh, respect that they should be given as human beings in general, you know? Um, and I feel like musicians don't get that, and it's not just here, you know? It's... The, I wish I could say it's just a Fresno thing, but it's not, you know. Um, and you're just dance monkey dance, right? Yeah, pretty much. And it's always like you should be fucking thankful that you're here. Oh, I'm charging you this much. This is how much I charge other people. You should be thankful that you're even a part of this. And at a starting out level, when I was 18, when I was just trying to play shows and I would take anything. I did that for 10, more than 10 years, dude, in my city, not around anywhere else, you know? You don't think that you should be doing me a favor for every single show until you make it famous when then I have to do something for you? What do you mean? What is, what is the... You mean, you, as a uh, as an artist, you should be doing bending over backwards for any promoter or venue until you become big and famous at that point. They now have to bend over for you. Yeah, There's I, no middle ground, right? No. Yeah, exactly. The, well, that's what the, that's what the, um, the, the thought process is with, um, I feel like, with promoters and then 
bands ha- uh, th- immediately think that way. Like, oh, when I make it big, I'm never playing there. Well, okay. <laughs> yeah, it, it, yeah it you made it big. Congrats. <laughs> yeah, th- that, th- it doesn't make a difference like how local artists are make getting treated, you know, as musicians that are just trying to freaking play music you know it's not like uh bands or or, um rappers or producers that are in fresno are asking for too much if you just respect the person and give them some fucking food and some water to like just the bare minimum you know um you as an artist as a musician you walk away thinking like okay at least i got treated good you know um i've played shows where the um promoter was like well we had a show this many people came and he he was like i really want you to play and um he met my guarantee no one fucking came to the show and we fucking partied and it was fucking fun and that show i'm gonna remember for the rest of my life you know because he gave me my guarantee i he bought me a bottle of like really expensive whiskey um and they had a little it, it was at soap company and they had a little <laughs> bar set up and i went back there serving drinks for the amount of people that were there because there was only like 10 people there and the 10 people that were there were playing so they're just like you'll perform and bartend well that fucking <laughs> if 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 you're nice to me i'll i'll do nice things for you you know you're mean to me yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I, i'll <laughs> squeeze out a uh, clean out a urinal a little bit mm. but i I've done that before. How's your scrubbing skills? <laughs> no, I haven't done that, but I've helped clean up after mm-hmm. a show because the person needed help and they were nice to me. And Beginning that's the how end, you should be there. Yeah. Yeah, but um, I don't know. It's not... I'm not saying that what I'm doing may necessarily work for everyone or every musician or artist that's in Fresno, Um but for me, that this seems to be the best way to continue making music and playing shows, um, because I'm just done. I'm done being treated like that. I don't want to pay to play. I don't want to. I don't want to do that anymore. Are there venues in town that you would, with that drop of a hat, you would go and play? Um, Liquid Fetish, because they treat me good every time. Awesome. Um, and if. I don't know. Peeves, I feel like, is cool, but I don't know what's going on there. But I would, I'd probably play there too because they've always treated me good. Soap Company, like Nolan's always, Schmolin, sorry. (laughs) Even though I'm going to, it's a compliment. Schmolin's always been nice, you know. Um, There's certain promoters and like artists and um, even like venues like Liquid Fetish that I have a relationship with already. And they don't apply to what I'm saying, you know, the whole um, Prince slave thing that I get that I did that I got shit for um, wasn't it was just about the people who they know who like they are. You know, mm-hmm. I, I didn't have to. Well, the people who names. are doing bad are doing a good job letting people know that they're bad. Yeah, and the artists are knowing, the venues are knowing, well, the promoters we're all con- are knowing. We're, we're, the, yeah. the artists, the artists that matter in this town, um, and the musicians that matter, and anyone who's an artist that's in this town, we're we're all like connected, you know. So if you fuck somebody over, the other person's going to hear about it, you know. It's not so hush hush, and it's not such a big city that, um, shit just like you could brush it under the rug or whatever you know what i mean no it's reputation yeah exactly it gets around yeah so it gets around easier in a smaller town you like know? herpes and yeah yeah exactly like fresno herpes well, which is the worst kind it is can i uh you can can't I... even say herpes in fresno you gotta say shmurpies of yeah. course i mean legal herpes yeah shmurpies. i'm just giving you legal advice dude i'm just looking out for you <laughs> let me for ask. your benefit i should appreciate that <laughs> <laughs> there you go now you're learning let me ask you a question here in a brand new segment we invented just a little bit ago called um let's put baby in a box oh no <laughs> not a box that, that didn't work i didn't get my sound effect damn it um Man, we have a terrible sound Wham! guy. Let's box. put baby in a box. Box. <laughs> box. <laughs> Wham! Box. First, First question. question. Ooh. <laughs> Yay. Wait, or, is that me too? Oh, shut up. Oh, shit. No. Um, <laughs> five bands. Five artists. Five anyone in the val- or in 
locally here. Who would you like to put on with you? Who are your favorites to to spend a night performing with? I don't want, I just want everybody to focus on me. I don't want anybody there but me. <laughs> you didn't me. answer the question. <laughs> okay. Sahab, 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 and Sahab. Because I speed fun. hot fire. <laughs> Good, Good job, job Hillary. Hillary. <laughs> who, are the, who are the five hottest rappers of all time? Dylan, 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 and Dylan. I see that that's not going to go anywhere. Damn it. This box came I see what you're list. trying to do. I think you're trying to set up a show. Is it? And, and you're going to be like, well, you said on air that you'd like to play. Nah. Yeah, contractually obligated at this point, right? Sahab. All right, so we're going to... Sahib, gonna, Sahob. The Dirty Daddy Podcast is putting on a show next uh, next Thursday night at Liquid Fetish with Sahab five times. All right. <laughs> no one will go. <laughs> That's a normal <laughs> podcast show. It'll be the best show ever. Hey, 50 people will go for sure, and we could fit them in the studio. <laughs> at least for one of the showings. Yeah. We'll have to, we'll have to do a, another party night here, the Dirty Daddy Dance Party. With 50 people? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'll, I'll play it, dude. Okay. I have to you show you video. You don't of the last even one. know, man. I may, I may show up at your birthday party. And Wasn't just that fucking just you dancing DJ. by yourself? That was me dancing. I, no, I outshined all of you guys in the dance. Well, Kevin humped a chair. I took that chair to town. <laughs> it was epic. <laughs> but you Remember, did get schmear, schmear. You did get all Britney Spears all over that box in the corner. Oh, dude, I got fucking crazy. I, 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 I out twerked. Would you say everyone. it was toxic or? Yeah, it's a little toxic <laughs> and very dirty. <laughs> I did it one more time too. You knew that was coming. <laughs> well, speaking of things that are coming, bam! It's time for Molestar Kevin's questions. That happened. Here it is. So First hard. question. I always forget. <laughs> so, Hob, very important question. What is the horniest beat per minute? Oh, um, well, <clears throat> hold on. Okay, a hundred or ninety-nine. But then you have to play it in halftime, though. Could you um, give us a beat, like a, like a, it's like like a beatbox this. beat? It's like this. Okay. Oh, okay. Down on the table, yeah. Okay. Yeah, he's going to do that table pounding I love. It's like... <laughs> boom. Boom. <laughs> boom. Boom. <laughs> kind of like that. That was pretty sexy. And then you do it in yeah. halftime? Yeah, horny. that's the halftime. Because if it was in full... T- like the, It would be like... Boom. <laughs> boom. <laughs> and you don't want that. That's too fast. <laughs> You guys, you guys, slow it down. So it's got to be like, boom, boom. Judges, Cotty, are you? Would you say horny? <laughs> <laughs> Is the chair now wet? <laughs> Do we need to clean up on like, aisle, Cotty? There's no avocado nearby. So <laughs> did anyone just did anyone just get their pants pregnant? <laughs> Kenneth probably did. I did, cause Sahab, Sahab. <laughs> I'm, <just playing. laughs> I'm shregnant right now. <laughs> All right, let's move on to second question. Oh, that was God. smooth. <laughs> Ryan, let's ask Ryan. Ryan, oh, here we go. <laughs> yep, yeah, it, it is. is. Hot. Yo, hey, what's going on? <laughs> you know. By the way, Sahab's life partner. He's the muscle man, because I didn't know if you're going to rape me or not, to be yeah, honest. We didn't know Still what up we in were the getting air. into. Still well, open. I got muscle, homie. <laughs> so Ryan, do, get him. So do I. <laughs> oh, you didn't know if so we were going to rape Wait, wait, wait. You. Did you, you just get know. rapey on this, Kenneth? <laughs> yes, Kenneth did. Yeah, he mentioned muscle. And, yeah, well, but in I'm a rape scenario. Sin- <laughs> Damn. Ew. Ew, no. I thought it was just going to be you. <laughs> you showed up with muscle, too. <laughs> Touche. <laughs> I prepare as well. <laughs> Someone better get raped. By <laughs> <laughs> oh Your move. It's always me. It's always. <laughs> it's, just, it's just what it is. It's like when Kenny dies on South Park. Oh, Jesus. It's like when we make fun of Kenneth for being a ginger. Oh my God! You raped a hub. <laughs> you bastard! You bastard! <laughs> All right, where are we at? Here we go. Number two, Ryan. Yo. How many transgendered women, spelled with a Y, you know, so it doesn't say men, <laughs> can you fit into a men's bathroom stall? This is a trick question. You're right. The answer is zero. I knew it. Because something something triggered cis patriarchy. I know why. I know why. Oh. I just won't say it on air. Tune in to Monday night's show, just The Kick, as we... <laughs> just so you guys know, I, I don't stand bad. for any of the sexism or racism. Oh, okay, okay, Wes, back to your band. <laughs> Get limp. This one's definitely for you then, Sahab. Let's move on to... Question the third. It is. Who would win in a fight? 
an ISIS member without CIA training Mm -hmm. or a New York street cop with training. Um, Where's the the ISIS member from specifically? Origin? Uh, Well, now probably Germany or Switzerland, (laughs) UK. Oh, dang. We'll just, we'll just say, we'll just say. He's Weissus. You got to just, is he Middle Eastern? Cause that, that's what I'm asking you if he's Middle Eastern. And right. now we're going this route. We'll say yes. <laughs> okay. So I want to paint with too broad a brush here. I'm, now, is he a, it's a guy or a girl? Oh, it's a guy. <laughs> it's definitely a guy. If it was a girl, you couldn't tell because it'd have a sheet over its face. Well, if it was a girl, I would say the Middle Eastern woman are fucking insane. So I would say she would win. <laughs> Does it but if really it's a, matter nationality when you talk about crazy women? Because I think they just kind of all are right there. I just base it off my mom because she's Middle Eastern. <laughs> she's fucking crazy. So. <laughs> they, they transcend race. You might call yeah. them trans sanities. Oh <laughs> there it is. God. Shmanities. Shmanities, yeah. Shmanities. For legal purposes. Shmanities. Shmanities. All right, okay. where, where are we at here? Uh, but if it's Pre- like... Oh, oh, oh. Nope. I was going to say the cop might win because of, you know... But Obviously. once they're trained, they really slow down on their brutality. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, Jerry Dyer will be here next week. Oh. Are you serious? I'm going to need no, next week. No. Oh. He just canceled. I was come. Thank God. He canceled? Oh, my God. Jerry Schmeier? I brought him up as a potential guest for something, and it was like, oh, I can't wait. I have so many things to say. And it was like, okay, well, so he's not going to be here because I'd like to not be arrested continually. Yeah. Just Don't so. invite then, cops to your house. No, <laughs> no one have this And then cast. maybe Schmild. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? Maybe I'm John Lang. And All with right. that, uh, Pregunta Cuatro. Ryan, you want to take this? Of course you do. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the muscle. That's <laughs> <laughs> what I'm trained to do. One muscle that uh, matters. <laughs> your brain. What no. does the acronym, <laughs> and you can kind of see where my motivation's been for this week, the acronym LGBTQAIP stand for? I couldn't tell you. I have no idea. Probably like lay what lesbian, gay. Wait, say it again. I don't know, so I can write I'm it. Lost. Yeah, he's like, writing L G B T Q A I P. This is an actual acronym. You're gonna have to burn that paper after the show. I think it's pronounced <laughs> Le- <laughs> Le- Le- bit to quipe. Oh, I, <laughs> a little bit of quipe. I, I, oh, that makes perfect. I sense think I know now. it. Okay, it's love getting banged. To Q-tip in <laughs> no, I, Paris. No, it's I, dude. I A P in Paris. I-A-P. Obviously, everything's I-A-P. in Paris. <laughs> That's incorrect. In, in a porno. In a porno. <laughs> <laughs> and then if you add this in Paris. <laughs> That's a so straight Wi-Fi qu- qu- password qu- right there. L- 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 That's all qu- I get out of it. I like What's that answer. The, What's the answer? Yeah, what is the actual? Um, God, I wish it was the one that you said, but it's it's lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, queer, uh, asexual slash ally, asexual slash me- ally, ally, intersex, and pansexual. I feel like we're going to have a long Who talk this weekend. Who has sex Here's the nope, fifth pansexual's question. pansexual's a thing. I watch Real World. Here, here, here's the next question. This one's to you, Dowdy. What the hell does pansexual I forgot mean? what question number we were on. <laughs> it's the next one. What the hell does pansexual mean since you saw it on MTV? It means you're a dude who used to be a Mormon, but you got out of the faith because you were touched as a child by the pastor in the Mormon church, and now you're fighting against it by dressing very openly. You could be a man or woman. You have very well-done eyebrows that are huge and bushy, and you scream, and you're, you're always in your underwear in the Las Vegas Hotel, Goldstein's in Las Vegas. This is why I watch Road Rules. Zing. <laughs> Specifically those that. requirements. <laughs> that's, the, that's what I know. Pansexual is, I guess you're just everything. You're not necessarily gay or straight, or you, you just, you're an open soul. You're a goddamn, you're a hippie in it Woodstock as you are sexually as a person now. Wow. Doesn't Miley Cyrus say that she's that? Miley Cyrus says a lot of things. Oh, so it means you're ugly. Isn't that like, <laughs> isn't that like panning on a, on a board? Like pansexual? Like you're panning left and you're panning right? <laughs> oh, that, that, I, I like, like that. that. Hold on, I <laughs> like that. I got it. I, I like where you went with that. I, I always figured one. it just meant whoever's coming up with these names desperately needs a job. <laughs> 
<laughs> we can just invent shit. We should, we should invent a sexuality on this show. So oh you're my God. gouty sexual, which means you don't have any sex. I think that's called asexual. No, that's Dang. called Kenneth. No, 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 no. Well, you th- no, that'd be non-sexual. Oh, uh, that'd be unsexual. <laughs> All right, let's do our last one here. Fail sexual. This one's going to go back to Sahab. Sahab. Wait, wait, wait. Oh. Oh, uh, uh, uh. This, this is, is a question. question. <laughs> oh, my God. Did we get the sound boy at the dollar store or something? Shut, Shut up! up! <laughs> yes, we did. The sad thing is there's a sound bite for that, but he just felt it quicker. <laughs> this is true! <laughs> Kenneth never, never had sex! sex. <laughs> yeah, see, that's, this works. Neither does Doubting. That's not a question. <laughs> that's just a statement of fact. All right, number six. Here we go. Sahab. Go! What? <laughs> go! What is more important? The right to free speech or... Nope. The we're sorry due to new federal regulation. The conclusion of this questionnaire has been censored to refrain from offending someone somewhere, somehow, at some time. <laughs> well, in the words of careful how you schmancer. Yeah, in the words of a famous, famous, very important guitar player and just just stand up, dude. <laughs> I don't, Westmoreland. I don't yeah, I don't I don't stand for any of this sexism, so I'm gonna go with number two and I'm gonna keep my it. That's funny. This sexism makes playing. me think of number two. Oh. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> it's and better. now Kenneth has an erection. Oh yes. Oh. I'm gonna go with number one, because that's the obvious I mean that's what you Damn right. Yeah. Uh, what were we talking about? And with that that's the obvious choice. Ding. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I got a ding. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Did you see that? Brad. Tell you what, real quick, Saab, why don't you give us uh tell us your plugs where we can find your websites, Facebooks, the worlds, and any events or anything coming up. Um man, uh just I am S A H A B dot com or I am S A H A B uh, Instagram or Facebook or SoundCloud. Pretty much the same thing. I am yeah. Sahab. Everywhere. And then I have two new albums on Spotify and iTunes. All so. right. We will put all the links up on the post here on longbox.fm. You can Appreciate find that you. and I'll build out the uh, the actual the artist profile for you. Okay, so cool. you can go to longbox.fm and just search Sahab there and you can find every single one of his links to every single one of his SoundClouds and reverbs or whatever it may be. They will be there with bios, videos, and also a personal letter and picture that he's going to write out and draw for me that I'll post on that page. Okay. Exclusively on longbox.fm. Exclusive. Exclusive. Totally. Exclusive. Exclusive. Fuck me. Yeah, I'm going to get... No, man, yeah. New I'm, toys. This is why I need a sound boy. Stop. 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 Mine. We're going to play a new song. <laughs> Brand new. Now, what is this? This is only... Has anyone heard this? Uh... I bet you Ryan he heard it because he um, played some modular synth at I the end of it. it. Yeah, let's just say I fucked with it. Yeah, a bit. and um, <laughs> he made all the spaceship sounds because uh, the song's about um, being abducted by aliens. Please which tell me is, you did it with your mouth. Yeah, he did. <laughs> <laughs> which is, um, I was, uh, I wrote it. No, he did it with his spaceship, Kenneth. <laughs> I, I fucking hate it. Kenneth's <laughs> horny. He did it with a modular synth, you fuck. I think God. <laughs> Google it, will you? Don't it's get freaking his, 2016. Dude, don't get his Middle Eastern mom on you. Ah! <laughs> See? <laughs> <laughs> that one. Uh, where, we were you, where were you two months ago? <laughs> I'm Muslim. I can say that shit. Fuck y'all. We, we have a tower for you. <laughs> That's not... No, no, no. no. You said it. No. It's too far. It's too for far. Once. It's too soon. <laughs> okay. So how did you go? forget 9-11? Oh. Yeah, it's I did. too soon. A couple again. of cast members did, too. <laughs> did, don't you remember those songs? Are we allowed to say 9-11 on air? Mine of 11, okay? <laughs> you can only say it once. In this post Everyone knows world. that. Yes, you can. (laughs) (laughs) All right. We're going to take a break here. We're going to play a new song called Aliens from Sahab. Uh, We'll be back here with Sahab, and we're going to be testing his his mixing ability with a game called Rewind here on Longbox.fm. Please enjoy. We'll be right back. I'm going to leave my headphones on because I want to hear it. You're listening to the Dirty Daddy Podcast on Longbox.fm. 
Make YouTube your tube by searching out Longbox FM on YouTube.com. You're gonna have some father bonding, father son bonding time. Father son Eiffel Tower. Yep. <laughs> father son train. So. Uh, 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 well, he told me he'd see my dick. Yep. The next Hurry up. Starts? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think the better one is about the girl who has three fathers. Yeah. She's leaving. That way too. <laughs> Bye. Oh. Uh, okay, we are back. Uh-oh. Dirt Daddy Podcast. No, 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 no. Oh, oh, we got it all set up. Okay. We're trying to wrangle in the ladies. This is Dirt Daddy Podcast here on Longbox.fm, brought to you by Riley's Brewing. Cheers! Thanks, Riley's. And Kenneth just showed up. <laughs> And Kevin's what taking his mic apart. monster doesn't put an on-off button on, on fucking Kenneth's microphone? <laughs> That's Both of them. That's oh, soundboard, man. man. That's soundboard. My bad. Over here. Over there. How can you, <laughs> you disturb me. All right. So we, we got a game coming up here. Uh, we're going to test the Hobbs' ability. Now, you mix music for a living, right? Um, you know beats per minute. You know the sex beats. Kind of. You know I just all. I make music. The sex beat. <laughs> Well, we're going to ask you to define the music, to know the music, to be able to call out the music. Hit me with it. It's, is, uh, is it grunge related? Because if it is, I, I know a lot about that. Absolutely not. All right. <laughs> uh, this is going to be, this is a game, uh, it, we play tracks in reverse, and you have to figure out what it is. Are they famous tracks? They are. Sure. They are okay, famous cool. tracks. Uh, yeah, all right, all right. Now, I know some of our crew have heard them before, so I'm going to go ahead and right now just disqualify everyone. All right. But we have Cotty's friend here, Miss Stripper Pole herself. <laughs> Hi, guys. <laughs> I didn't know that was her name. What do we call you? <laughs> call her uh, Paquito Cuchara. No, no, no. Maria. Maria Way. Maria, Maria Way? <laughs> Maria Way. <laughs> <laughs> Melissa. Is that your you porn star name? should know this by now, Chris. I come here. I try to ignore you every time you're myself. here. You're, you're <laughs> That's Cotty's, not nice. You're Cotty's bad friend. I am not her bad friend. <laughs> I am one of her good friends. One of her only few truthful and sincere friends. You just said she has no friends. <laughs> Damn. Ah, nah, nah. I gotta write this. But she said, it, she said it as a friend, so that's what counts. Yeah. It doesn't matter the amount of friends. It's matter about the quality of them, so. I'd rather have a couple I'm quarters a than a hundred pennies. Exactly. Oh, sorry. I'm a few of the, of the good ones. A year in her top eight in MySpace then, right? Yeah. She yeah. moved me. She moved me down. I've seen that shit, bitch. Damn. <laughs> Um, don't, All right. don't do it, it was again. a glitch. Oh, I'll drop you in real life. <laughs> so we're going to go Team Sahab Jesus. versus Team Melissa here on this. <laughs> do we get buzzers and shit? Am I on Team Sahab? What you need to do, yeah. Kevin, I'm going to need your help. I'm at a weird angle. I can't see everyone. All righty. Um, your, your name is your buzzer. When you know the song, scream out your name. Or, or just say it gently into the mic. Don't oh. Kenneth. No, I want to scream it. I like screaming my own name. <laughs> well, you can scream. But <laughs> don't wait, <laughs> Melissa. Wh- don't. When, when are you screaming your own name? <laughs> I just do during it. During sex, I just walk during around. sex, during sex. The please. same time you do, slot. <laughs> well, <laughs> just wanted to confirm. And slots here, by the way. It's not <laughs> when I'm jerking off on the toilet. Ew. Right? <laughs> Oh, it's getting better. <laughs> welcome, welcome back. <laughs> <laughs> All right. On the toilet. So I'm gonna play. I'm gonna play a track. As soon as you know it, uh, <laughs> call out casually in a, in an affirmative way your name. <laughs> Don't and, do it, Kenneth. And then give me artist, and you'll get a point for artist and for title. All right. Okay. Hit you it. ready? First one. Wait, who's on whose team? Oh my! It's just <laughs> Melissa and Sahab. You guys have heard some of these. Oh, okay. That'd Those be cheating. Okay. I yeah. thought you were kidding. Just wa- put that bike down, kid. Yeah, what are you doing? You, that bike does. You got this loaded up on. like you have Why? something to say. <laughs> <laughs> we all know you don't. Why are Damn you it. double fisting the mic? I was trying to give you double of me. No. no. By the way, yikes! I forgot to say, uh, <laughs> Kenneth announced on the on the break he actually had sex this week. <gasps> what? He broke a streak of two That's years. That's awesome. Holy Cheers shit. to that. Cheers. <laughs> was it everything you wanted it to That's be? That's fantastic. All, it's nothing that I wanted it to be. All seven be. seconds? <laughs> what was his name? Did you scream my Fuck name? you, Alex. <laughs> Did you scream my name? It was, it was that one lamb. No, scream Slot's name. I'm sorry. Oh. Did, they, did, they, did they take away your two-year chip for that? Oh. Dang. <laughs> 
You know, after two and a half years, you get your virginity Wait. back. <laughs> you did they close. know how long it had been for you? Or did you try to keep that a secret? Yeah, they found out after four seconds. Yeah. No, no, she <laughs> like, knew. Well, you tried. She knew. <laughs> it was actually why she did it. Oh, oh you got a She pin- felt bad for you. It was you got a right? phone. She was saying she did it because like, she was forced. She felt forced into it because she felt bad for you. She wasn't forced. Well, anytime you're running <laughs> so he, he legally the- has to say that. <laughs> yeah. I just wanted to congratulate She you. wasn't Wait. schmorced. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. That that's a win right there. <laughs> Kenneth, I'll give you a point for that, even though you're not playing. Woot. <laughs> All right. So Does that game. mean I'm winning so the far? The game, the rewind game. Sahab versus Melissa. We've got downtown electronic artist Sahab versus Abby. Wait, who's my, who is who's my opponent? This guy. The guest. Oh, okay, okay. She's well, all glass of water. This long you don't know who Mandy's. Sahab is? Does he look like his name would be Sahab? <laughs> that's right. That's now, racist. Now, Melissa. No, no. His name is Brian. <laughs> it's Brian, okay? Ryan. Ryan. No, Ryan. Melissa, you do have one lifeline. It's a knife, and if you want, you can oh. stab him in the lifeline. Can I? Okay, I'll use it when it's really, really, really It's, it's right necessary. under here under the jaw. I feel like we've just gotten totally <laughs> off the point. <laughs> Okay. First, I think that is the point. Just play the fucking can song. We, <laughs> First can we move track. on? Can we move on? Sh- shut up. <laughs> we'll get with it. Sorry. Just give me the shut damn Shut up. Up. Ooh. Yeah, there we go. Echoey. Me and Blur, they're bad. I can't wait to get into it. Anaconda don't got none. Stop. Anaconda don't got none. No, 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 no. Shh. It's Sir Mix-a-Lot. You, you got to say your name. It's Sir Mix-a-Lot. Uh-huh. And uh, Baby's Got Back. True that. Sahab uh, with two points. Bow! Melissa, Damn you gotta, it. You gotta say it's your not name. Sahab! You thought it was. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even scream my name when I was about to. Melissa, this and is. And by the way, that was a ghetto scream. That wasn't like his, you know, like how you said moderately, like. <laughs> hey, by the, there's a moderately you, ghetto shouted. scream. You were ghetto about it. Who did you say that y- it was? I said, baby got back. Oh, you did? No, did. no you didn't. You said. You guys you said Anaconda. You said Anaconda? Did you say Nicki Minaj? The Nicki Minaj version. You said Anaconda don't want none. Oh, my God. But you also didn't say your name, which is respectful. Okay, so it wasn't correct. Wait, a Latina is not listening to to the rules? What what is this? (laughs) This must be a parallel universe of some kind. Next question. (laughs) Oh, Jesus. Sir Mix a lot. I wonder you can Melissa. Melissa. Hit it. Melissa. A uh, big pimp by Jay Z. Damn. Damn, she knew it right away. <laughs> Killing it. The answer would be within half a second. Because you're such a. Oh my god. All right. Okay, Avenol is stepping up to the Damn. plate. Such a pimp. <laughs> Sahab, you got, you got some work. Up. You now know what you were competing with. <laughs> All right. She's a tough woman. She wears afghans for fun. I do. For fun. <laughs> oh, my <laughs> God. Like she kills them and then wears them? <laughs> <laughs> Not the people. Is that like <laughs> Buffalo Bill? <laughs> <laughs> like the faces? Wait a minute. <laughs> Next one. <laughs> <laughs> Melissa, oh. Tupac and Dre. California at love. Damn. What the heck, man? I, I'm not even laughing. I can't even hear it. Sahab, I think you're screwed. You murdered the shit. She's cheating, homie. Hey, no, no. This shit is rigged. She just Fuck says her guys. name and then figures it out later. Let's leave. I hope you got it. Ryan, get in on this. <laughs> He's going he's to need some assistance. <laughs> yes, Ryan. <laughs> All right. I knew none of these, though. Team Sahab will just say Sahab. Everyone who's not I, Melissa can is Can I have Team a Sahab. crew now? Can we move on? Yeah, okay. Well, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Shit, she's getting saucy. All right, then. She's like, let me win tonight. <laughs> Melissa. <laughs> Melissa. Are you kidding um, me? Jay-Z featuring Ja Rule. Um, <laughs> Holy can shit! Can I get a woo woo? It's rigged. I don't think there's I, ever a Jay Z song featuring Ja Rule. It is. Yes, it is. Yeah. Yeah. She's right. That's Ryan. what's fucked up. She's right. Ryan, you're gonna get stabbed, dude. Is Ryan, 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 Ryan. She's gonna use a lifeline on you. Will it be? Will Withdraw it be? Withdraw yourself out of this conversation. <laughs> oh, the fucked up thing is, I can't say anything. She's right. I know she's right. I'm just not getting to it. It must enough. be murder, guys. It must be murder. <laughs> We I do don't want to play this fucking game. Play the song. Play <laughs> the song. Rigged, I swear, right, let me try to get harder. We do not condone okay, murder. Try to get podcast. harder? <laughs> is that what you're trying? It's not the first time Cotty's heard oh that. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> and it's not going to be the first time she's disappointed. <laughs> Low hanging fruit. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Melissa. Oh, oh my God. Bone thugs. Yep. 
and not praying. Uh, Are you doing uh, so I, I, yeah. I didn't know that crossroads. one, actually. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I don't know any yeah. of these. I, I do that one. Okay, I made a mistake bringing her in. <laughs> no, Melissa, we, like we try game. to highlight our guests. Come on. No, no, she didn't even know who I was. I, no, no, I mean, there's a highlighter on me? him right now. Hey, <laughs> there's no highlighting for anyway. We play, we're taking this shit like the this real sh- way. This shit's, oh, man. Man. Oh, this shit's real life. Don't this. have me feel to yourself to your special guest. <laughs> Melissa. No, no, obvious. Thug Life Melissa is now in the studio. Oh, okay, shit. let's... That's my Let's song. Do this. Chris, <laughs> since he feels you're staging this, why no. don't you play a different genre of his particular liking? He be, what's that, that supposed to mean? I don't know if because I'm not Mexican, yeah, I don't know. Racist. I don't know rap music or something. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> right Nothing now? to do with that. But Shit I feel confident enough to be yeah, good at other she's genres. Killing you. Really? So that's why I'm comfortable okay. enough to suggest other genres. Play some grunge. <laughs> what the fuck is that? <laughs> I didn't have it loaded up. You didn't do your homework. I'm never coming back. A, a, uh, a side Y'all question. are racist too and sexist. A little bit. This is worth <laughs> three points. What is Eddie Vedder's real name? Ryan Bardalis. Yes. Hey, job, Ryan. hey, hey, hey. That's he not his name. real name. He didn't say no, his name, that, though. That's his name. He his name is Ryan Bardalis. No, it's not. The hub. It, it. It's freaking <laughs> Ed, it's Edward Vedderaris. I don't know if that's true or not, but I'm going to give you three points. <laughs> that's his full name. Hey, it's a tough Eddie game. Vedder is just sh- short <laughs> for no, Edward not. Vedaris. You're right, it's not. Well, in that case... <laughs> Oops, Bam! A little too high. <laughs> I win! It's All right. Fake. Stop! <laughs> I can't hear you. It's still ringing. <laughs> Here we go. Next song. Come on, man. Step up. <laughs> Okay, uh, Sahab. Yes. Tupac. Um, keep your head up. The answer is. Nope. There you go. He's he's back in the game. He's back in the game. Here we go. Next. This is dedicated to all the ladies in the house except for her. <laughs> that song. Ouch. You gotta keep your head up. Wow, you just dedicated something to Cody and Kenneth. Next question. Oh, <laughs> fuck yourself. Ah, uh, you have a fucking thing. You want to talk your pen in the room, so I'll be no fan. You're walking, see, friend, and then I'll be not making my ass. You want to look at this coming on you, and then come on. And I'm giving us this coming on my mother's just for me. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Sahab. Mm hmm. Um, is it hip hop hooray? Show is. Bye. By Naughty by Nature? Answer is correct. Hip Hop Hooray, Naughty by Nature. Are you just not saying anything? Because you're, you're, you're like letting me win <laughs> now, like a little kid? <laughs> no, I'm she's not that nice way. I'm just a very nice person. She's like, way, I'll let him get a few. <laughs> She'll she's still stab you on the way to the car. I don't want to put baby in the box. <laughs> don't <laughs> don't <laughs> put me. It's a pity point. Kind of like I don't want to put... Why do you do this? Yeah. Why are you doing this? <laughs> me? Yeah, this is your fucking wait, shit, man. Wait, this wait, is wait. your creation. I'm an innocent cr- guy running the board here. <laughs> you, you weren't the one that pity fucked Kenneth, were you? No. 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 I will fuck... Would you? Anything. Uh, What's the answer? I wouldn't. No, All right, sorry, yeah, I wouldn't. We, we do. <laughs> you, know, you just, uh, just say yes. Make them just okay. yeah, You don't have, have to. to do it. No, no, no. Guys, yeah, don't guys fucking mention- lie to me. If you're not going to do it, I don't want to. No, no, lie to him. <laughs> lie right to his, oh, right to his right face. Away. Was in any special circumstances? You know, I was drunk, passed over, like, butt naked in my salon. <laughs> <laughs> or, like, just, like, some a situation Okay, she like said that. you got that, right? You got it? You got Okay, good. Binding agreement for later. You know what I mean? Wait, wait. Specify the situation. <laughs> she, she said passed over. Do you mean like dead? dead? <laughs> Wait, passed over or I'll passed out? I'll be nice out? and I'll say like unconscious. So she was like, like a Jew. Really no, no, no. She's like a Jewish and tradition. No, no. Is she talking like religion? Like she's got to be covered in sheep's blood? I don't know. I think that's what she was saying. <laughs> what was I don't that think it was noise? That's, <laughs> that's why I think Middle Eastern women are crazy because of that. <laughs> Hey, mom, mom, oh if you're out God. there, can you pick me up, please? What is happening? Hey, mom, I'm ready to be picked up. If you're Next one. To this, you could come get me now. <laughs> Next question. Mom. <laughs> Melissa. Yep. Biggie Smalls. Going, going. Back. No, 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 no. It's not right. It's not right. Back to Kelly. It's not right. Biggie, give me your answer. Biggie Smalls, hypnotize. 
Correct. Ah. Point for each. You Damn just broke it. your hand. <laughs> no, I didn't. Oh, oh. the shit is heated. That's your. That's your important. You're bringing back no, fire, huh? Great. What did you say? Get a little you said going back, back to, to Kelly. That's shit. not right. Nope. It's hypnotized. Well, yeah, then why did, it is, it is. Then why did you give her a point? Because, because she got Biggie. Because I got Biggie. Got I got the artist. Point for each. Point. You got a point for hypnotized. She got a point. No, for Biggie. I said Biggie too. <laughs> yeah, but she, she called it out first. first. She got it first. That's some fucking bullshit. You just got voted. <laughs> no, Don't I just. Hey, you I can't have the answer half right, and then you mess up, and then the. You, that's not how Jeopardy works. Clearly, he's hating. <laughs> well, if you want, I can give you a Hillary point. I'm getting Bernie per- points out here. <laughs> Bernie That's per- my point. Oh, I gotta per- take away three. Just, yeah. For I'm legal, for, about for legal purposes, I couldn't say point. The points should go around. I have to, say I have to collect two points to facilitate transferring one point of these three points to you. Uh, you just wanted to hear that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Melissa. Stop hitting the table. No, you don't. You have to say your name. I have That's to, it. but I have to emphasize my name. No, no. You she hits. Say Melissa. By the way, just know anyways, that. it's Mary J. Blige and <sighs> Method Mad. You're all I need. Oh, nope. Wait, what? what? No. Here we go again. Wait. No. Melissa doesn't get to answer. Nope. No answer. Let me think about it. Kevin or four four Sahad. Let's all go. With I'm gonna let him answer for me. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and give it to him. Go ahead. Cypress Hill, insane in the men brain. Yep. Insane, insane in the brain. brain. Quarter of a. <laughs> He's right. <laughs> oh shit. Sahab is winning right now, twelve to ten. How? How did he go there? How did he go? How did I, he I go got there? nine and nine. Hey, sound guy, where's our visual? I got nine and nine, but you did give him an extra couple bonus points for for them being, you know, losing so bad. What, what, what are you, what, pity what are you, what are you doing fair, over there? Points. Are you giving me pity points? Yep. No. You're, I don't want pity points. Oh my God, then you're losing by eight. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I want to lose. I want to really lose with respect. Oh, oh you got me. three left then. That's not the Bernie Sanders spirit. <laughs> Let's go, Ryan. <laughs> this is fucking rare. Here we go. Don't you like your participation ribbon? Uh, stop. Just M- go Melissa, ahead. Melissa got the draw on that one. Go oh, ahead, shit. Ice, Ice Cube today was a good day? She's right. Waking up in the morning, gotta thank God. Two points for Melissa. Know, today seems <laughs> Team Melissa, which is also Can we just not play this game baby. anymore? I don't like this game. We I'm, got two more. Like we like got two more. <laughs> I worked really hard. I'm not playing, so. I'll, I'll play for Sahab. Wait, are you going. <laughs> Are you Even going Ted I'd... Cruz on me? You're just giving up? I'm just really immature. I don't like to win. <laughs> That's all that is. I had you at a win, I'm man. A, I'm a very sore loser. and I. No, but you're a good sport. You're you know, only you're down by two. You're, you're, he's he's like, really he's good at admitting himself. things. Yeah. So, you, 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 I mean, you can still come back. That he's terrible at losing. Good job. All right. It's close. There's unless, two less. You don't know you do anything. You guys, I'm trying to focus. Here we go. Don't fuck up with You guys are throwing me off. Sahab. I, I actually um, know what it is. I, I know what it is. Melissa? <laughs> that was Spice Girls when two become one. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good song. Just I forgot about that song. one. Melissa, um, go ahead. I don't know. I just what a man. What yep. a man. Yes. Yep. Who's it by? Uh, in uh, Salt and Pepper or In Vogue? You Tom can't. Pepper. You can't say or Tom right. Tom Pepper featuring En Vogue. What a man! <laughs> is she right? She's actually right it's all actually the way. Just give it to her, man. She deserves it. What just give her, yeah. Yeah. just give her the trophy. Salt Pepper. Yeah. Just give her the trophy. She won it. No, 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 no. <laughs> we're we're gonna make. <laughs> Why do you, you can't want- throw like blame me because I made it. Okay, here's here's the final. You guys are close. You can win this if you sweep it. What? But if <laughs> if Melissa wins, you have to sleep with Kenneth. I do. Yes. <laughs> no. No, you have to sleep yeah, with Kevin. Was, yeah. That was- <laughs> Okay, no, that's I'll cool. do it. No, you got. I nice wanted there. to from the beginning. Yeah. That's oh the whole reason God. I'm here. <laughs> Ryan's actually a distraction because I thought you were trying to rape me, but I was trying to rape him. Yeah, he's the old bait and switch. <laughs> you know the old mate and switch. <laughs> and here it is. Uh, it's a hop. Melissa. I no. said hop. Oh, Come on, man. It's freaking Dr. Dre and Snoop Dogg. <laughs> And the song is Ain't Nothing But a G Thing. Mm. So do I win? Yes, you does do. Does that mean that she has to have, Does that really apply? She has to have unprotected sex with Kenneth. Ew. <laughs> that, is, that is the winning. <laughs> that is how it works. It's binding, Melissa. You can use Jason's bedroom. <laughs> he's no, got, no, don't do that. He's what? got rubber no, sheets. No, 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 no. <laughs> we'll yeah, both even die if we use it. So. <laughs> You're best off sanitarily out in the backyard, at least. Yeah. No. I know, I've been there, too. That's <laughs> <Yeah>. a pass. <laughs> True story. So, Desmond's room? 
No, no. no. <laughs> still, still innocent. That is what, true. What's what wrong safe with room? you? <laughs> <laughs> Y'all are gross. Have you talked to that motherfucker before? <laughs> Y'all bringing kids well, into this room shit? And Desmond's room have the same hey, uh, safe that game. Oh my together. god! <laughs> it's getting weird. I feel it's getting weird. Stop already. It's, it's getting weird. <laughs> So for an opportunity to bang in my son's room, <laughs> you could play with Marvel characters while you're doing it. This is where Wait, I quit. Can I do it? <laughs> no! And game over! That is not game an over. invitation! It's for the winner. Fuck oh, wait. Yeah, I, our, our winner tonight, ladies and gentlemen, is Sahab. No, which means, it's not. No, it means... It's not really. It's sh- <laughs> that means you get one minute to speak about anything that you want to speak about. Okay. And it just, any topic off the top of your head, possibly how how bad of a person Melissa is, and maybe just go with it. And it starts right now. Oh, damn. Um. This is I have a glass thing. here. <laughs> <laughs> and. It's got little ice cubes in it. There's only a little bit of water in this cup. I like the cup because of the way it feels. I like the little... You like it ribbed? Yeah. I like it ribbed (laughs) for your pleasure. For my maximum pleasure. I like how it starts wider. Yeah, I like that too. You like that girthy top? Um, it, (laughs) It supplies a good amount of water, enough... To wet your whistle and <laughs> like um, once once you start, you know it's all downhill from there. It's, yeah, it just gets easier. Yeah, exactly. You're gonna finish it because it gets more narrow. Down How much here. time we got? And, oh, I'm not done yet. Yeah, not enough. Um, <laughs> the ice cubes are almost done. Uh, I'm probably gonna He's eat going. all those ice cubes by the time the night's over. Oh my god. Um, this is harder than listening to Cotty talk about her day. It's a little bit shiny because if the light hits it right, it shines. <laughs> oh, Jesus. And it's... Uh, That's what she said. Nah. It's nice. It's a nice cup. I'm going to take it home. Well, um... I think I hear a helicopter outside. Maybe you slightly offended that cup <laughs> a little too much. That shmup. That, cu- that cup has a trigger issue going on right now. Oh. We're going to trigger our way out of this segment. <laughs> And we are going to be uh, taking a quick, 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 quick break. We'll come back. We'll finish off the show with the tardies. With final plugs from Sahab. And probably more awkwardness now that we have Melissa, who will take anything. Next to Jason. Ditto. Who will give anything. <laughs> this, is, this is the Dirt Daddy Podcast. We are on clean rubber sheets, and we'll be right back. Hell. Rubber sheets. Jesus. This is a quickie. I have to go to the bathroom. Go. I'm not the only person. Go. Don't state it. Just do it. Don't talk about it. Be about it. Do it. Pinch it quick. Just do it. There's another restroom actually. If you go down the hallway straight down, she's going to go to her bathroom. Okay. Nope. No, because you're at the end of the table. And it's Molestar. Yeah. What's going on? You get a camera. Actually, nope. It's dead. Well, all right. Good camera. You don't get a camera. <laughs> Come on, peeps. This is uh, the guy who's telling you, the blind guy who does all my stuff. This he is made him. He made this. Uh, yeah. All the music on my show is pretty much him. Except for the intro and outro. Yeah. Dang. Crazy. Some blind guy got, like, rejected in line at Schmidt Lee Schmidt. Really? Yeah. They're like, you can't go in here, you gotta go around. He's like, how am I gonna see where to go? Where's the round? <laughs> Are we good? Uh, oh, God, God damn it, Kurt. I just heard a door close. So. Vagina. <laughs> 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 
Dottie! Stop making a drink. Get your ass in here. <laughs> Saw you walk by. <laughs> The Dirty Dowdy Podcast on Longbox.fm. Well, it's about to get interesting with Dirty Dowdy Podcast. June 15th, we're having a special guest coming in via Skype, adult film star Derek Pierce. That's right, a dude. We're going to be chatting with him, finding out about his view, his take on the industry, what it's like behind the curtains. It may be something that you will not be able to unsee. Make sure to hit us up on the Facebook, get your questions in, and call in. You can you can talk with him as well and ask your questions, your thoughts, but all the stuff that you wish you knew of what goes on behind the scenes making a film in the industry. That's going on as well. Some games with some fun times, celebrity clan bakes, all that going on the Dirty Daddy Podcast. Wednesday, June 15th on Longbox.fm. Longbox.fm For a sushi experience like no other, just say, roll one for me. Japanese cuisine expertly prepared and beautifully served in a fun, family-friendly environment. Make your next lunch or dinner unique. Roll one for me, a sushi joint on Champlain and Shepherd. It is what? What? What was that? What was that? So do I have to get a seizure before the lights stop? Yep. Uh, I only do that because I know you and Kevin or you and Alex hate that so much. So it's the Dirty Daddy Podcast back here on Longbox.fm brought to you by Riley's Brewing. Cheers. And also by Plan C. In case you find yourself in a bad spot and can't afford medicine, use that coat hanger. There it is. It's it gets you out it can get you into That's a car wrong. and it can get you out of eighteen years. That's what I still remember when you told that story when I first met you, and I actually kind of believed you. I was so stupid. Oh, that's oh that story. You gotta tell it now. That story. We don't. We gotta tell it now. Yeah. I'll do a quickie. Uh, so I have weird blonde spots in my hair. It just happens naturally. Especially right uh, I'm, down I'm not the front. Mark McGrath. I don't just bleach like Rogan. like I I like like jizz it into my hair. Ew. Uh, sure. Sounds really. Horrific. And so whenever I go to the the hairstylist or whatever, and they they're cutting my hair or whatever, they go, "Oh, are these natural or did you do it yourself?" I said, "Well, actually, real story. Well, no, they're natural. Uh, it comes. My mom was heavily Catholic, and and I was conceived outside of marriage, and the guilt <laughs> hung on to her. So." They didn't have money. They were living in Missouri at the time, and she used a coat hanger. (laughs) And as she started poking, she felt extreme guilt, and so she stopped. But those marks where the hair comes from is where the coat hanger (laughs) just barely touched my brain. This is also the guy. This is also the guy who said he had cancer last year. So my mom has told me she hates it. I tell that story, and I love that when I tell this to people, they they give me that look like. Look, just that like, drop that jaw, like heavy as shit, right there. <laughs> 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 like, you are so tragic. Oh my god! The, the Let deepest me part of it is the fact that why would my mom tell me this story <laughs> that she tried to abort me, <laughs> and how you should change the story till you that? remember. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I'm so retarded. I actually sort of believed it for like I want to say a week or two weeks. You yeah, could that's... say that you have hair cancer. Or can't hair. No, this is <laughs> this is long before my cancer trip I like went you. on. <laughs> I may even have sex with you later. No, it's gonna happen. And starting right now, possibly, uh, Kenneth. Yes. You have a moment. Let's go ahead and knock this out. It's Kenneth with the tardies. Yeah, yeah put I have up a his moment. picture. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> That's Kenneth right there, ladies and gentlemen. Keeping mom's basement safe. The God sad, bless America. The sad thing is, Ow. I just bought a new shotgun, so... <laughs> Uh, fuck you you guys. should buy a new life. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we have the Tardies, and fuck you guys. And we have several awards to give out tonight. We, of course, have Hashtag of the Night. And we have several hashtags that came alive, Some of which, most of which I made up because nobody actually called it out. We have DDP Live and Make Fresno Better, of course. And then we have Hashtag Cheers because you guys wouldn't shut the hell up about my cheers earlier. We have Hashtag Chillery, Humplery, Schmestivals, uh, Schmanities. We have... Thug Life Melissa, and we have Kent's hair. <laughs> but I think the winner actually goes to Kevin for Transgingered. Yeah, good Dang, job, Kevin. Being fair. He's being fair. I, I like him say. for that. Hey, it's honest. 
We had the Clam Joke Awards tonight, and uh, I actually kind of forgot about them, but my best and worst jokes of the night actually fell into that category. So uh, we have Titty Twister from Alex. What? We, of course, have Tapped Out from Dowdy, but the winner is the Getting Shit-Faced Man. story for overdosing on diarrhea medication. <laughs> Thank you, Kevin Molstar. You got it. Thank you. You win the shittiest award of the night. Great job. Two of them right there. We have the most hu- horrible human award. <laughs> and that goes to Dowdy. Yeah. One, just because. Yeah. Two, Fair. putting baby in a box. Yeah. And after that fucking horrifying story, putting your mom in a fucking box after that <laughs> shit. <laughs> well, she put a coat hanger in my head, so I feel it's fair to put her in a box. We Actually, have a best moment never of the went night. in your head. No, it just scraped the surface. Remember that never fetus. happened? Remember that you made that up to make <laughs> people feel bad? Probably explains how <laughs> fucked up you are. We have best moment of the night. And that goes to the segment with the rewind game, or as I like to call it, the ass kicking of Sahab, <laughs> which True. goes to Melissa. Melissa, Yay! you win that one. Yay. No, but she didn't win. She didn't win. She didn't win. But yes, oh, she I fucking won. did. She yeah. won. No, she, don't. We have an MVP that. of the night. Just, just, no, no, no. no. We, got, we got Bernie versus Shillery here. Well, I, 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 I we appreciate have an MVP it. of the night. It's I give that to Melissa as well for realistically kicking Sahab's ass. Okay, can I, a quick <laughs> time? He really is wanting to sleep no, with her. Yeah, I think that's thank what it is. You, thank you. Obviously. You are call- I turn off the. the, the yeah. you <laughs> are I'm, a, the I'm a motherfucking coat hanger. I did have I go in and I fuck shit up and then I get out. Yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> And that's got to be up for an award. Why did you not say that earlier? I did have several quotes today, too, which actually went to Ryan for his pansexual (laughs) panning left or right. That was was, uh, (laughs) that was uh, (laughs) That was good. And that's it. Fuck you guys. <laughs> Who's our winner? Who? Yeah. What? I gave it to Melissa. So. Oh, oh Melissa. Melissa. Just take that in mind that I oh. was being Hold up. Stop. 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 Okay. Stop. Before okay. you start talking, he's gonna start the music, and then you have a minute. Yeah, you have one minute to talk. About whatever the heck you want. Anything you want. It scares me, and I'm going to let you have it. <laughs> That's Ready? why I'm entertained by this. Set. <laughs> Go. And Kenneth has an erection. Now. Okay, guys. Um, <laughs> what's his, what's his, what's his, Sarah? Sahab. 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 It doesn't matter. Sahab. Just Sahab. say whatever you want. Sahab, you and I played a really good, a really good game. You know, you, you you tried, you attempted, you were talking to the eye, the water in the cup and the thing, and you you did you you tried, you genuinely applied yourself, and that's all that matters. And you know what? In this, we both won. Right here, so jihad. It doesn't uh, jihad. Yeah, jihad. 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 I was trying to be nice to Chris, up to you, and telling Chris to, you know, put other music. Not just hip-hop, because, I, as we I all know. I appreciate it. Yeah. You know, there's You're a welcome. lot of effort and time that gets put in to make the show long before the show starts. So, <laughs> <laughs> make, doing it all on the fly, kind of hard. Yeah. But thank you for that, Melissa. You're, You're welcome. stupid hoe. Uh, uh, what? <laughs> <laughs> what? Speaking of hoes, next week, the Dirt Daddy Podcast is going to have live farm equipment. Adult film star. So farm equipment. <laughs> so hard. Derek <laughs> Pierce is going to be in studio or, or calling in via Skype. Sorry. Please uh, tell me that Titty now, Pierce is related. <laughs> Titty Pierce and Derek Pierce are going to be hanging out. Her name is TT. We're going to hear the guy's side Whatever. of the adult film world. What it takes what? to get hard for a 12 hour shoot. <laughs> Damn. Which I'm what? sure is three times the, the amount of time you were supposed to be calling a doctor. Lots of E. Lots Damn. of jacking. Lots of... <laughs> well, actually, I think, Kenneth, you and him may have a lot in common that's going to happen. That's going on uh, Wednesday night. <laughs> I fucking hate you guys. Uh, really? And, uh, Sahab, final thing. Where can we find you one more time? Uh, I am S-A-H-A-B dot com. Or I am S-A-H-A-B Facebook. You're not Instagram. Jihad? Jihad.com? Jihad.com. That'll take you somewhere else. <laughs> <laughs> I actually bought that domain name, so it goes to me. <laughs> I just bought it right now. Well, we just While need we more talking. reasons for the government to watch us. I have a question for him. That means oh, we got God. more viewers? <laughs> Does it? So how, no. do, do you ever get annoyed at how much you have to uh, deal with us? <laughs> it's been a short period of time, Cotty. He's been with us for two hours. He's probably pissed. Other than that, <laughs> no. How much you have to spell out your name for people? Um, oh yeah, because I had trouble pronouncing. Yeah, you're, you're that. not I don't like Steven. it. It's. I'll be honest with you. I don't like it when people get my name wrong. But it. Do you happens feel retarded? 
like stupid because you have to spell it out. Wow, Cotty. Wow. I, where's the, uh, Cotty, where's the how music? do you spell your name? We, no, no, I'm only yeah. saying I'm only saying because a lot of people cannot pronounce my name and they ask me to spell it out and I do and they still say it wrong. Yeah, they say when, Karen. It makes me feel stupid like Well, I I I You mean they're stupid. There was somebody one time I was somewhere and this In person Bandcamp. came up came up to me and was going on about how they're my biggest fan and stuff and the whole time they're calling me Sahib. <laughs> and I was Sahib, like, you're my favorite fan. Yeah, and it was so I that's when I was like, I just can't I I can't guess even. take it personal okay. even though it's a simple name to pronounce. Did, did, but did yeah, it's I I just say like the car sob. Did you but with an H in the middle that you did you correct them the when they told you? Is now no, closed. I didn't. You let you let it ride. I couldn't. I just let it go. <laughs> Has anyone yeah. ever called you Sahab? In fact, I take it back. That's what she said. <laughs> it wasn't Sahab. Sahib. It was Sahab. It was up, Sahab. Sahab. Can we go two hundred thousand leagues under the sea? Yeah. You know, if he's hunting Sahab. a whale, I give him props. I am. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's it. We're done. Dirt Daddy Podcast. <laughs> hey. Hanging out. Hey, asshole. <laughs> uh, n- again, next week we know our show. Go out and check out Sahab. I am Sahab. And you can spell that any racist way you want, but you find it the right way, you'll get what you want to know. <laughs> and this is for Dowdy saying for everyone in the room. <clears throat> word. 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 <laughs> when you ask for... Well, you asked for our favorite songs. I was really curious as to what you were oh, asking uh, for. Oh, no. Is that for next week? <laughs> uh, something like this. We talked about it, but yeah. figured out how to do the outs and all that. We're going to have yeah. them back. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Sweet. Well, you got my song then, right? It sounded like I was calling you stupid. I, re- I no, really I don't, I don't. I'm I don't, sorry. No, I was okay. going somewhere with it, but then... No, I, she didn't it. know where she was going. No, no I understand. I knew where I was going. Okay, I'm really, really sorry about that. Really sorry about that. Uh, 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 you ready for a picture? It's okay. We're okay. I don't care. By the way, YouTube is uh, what great. said oh, word. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, yeah, of course. Thank you. Now you get it. Huh? Next week, word. hashtag Picture word. y'all. Line up the photo. Not I want this. Line up the photo. This is so like, awesome. You just want to go home. Yep. Dude, you're, you're talented. <laughs> <laughs> Every uh, picture shot. Dirty. 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 Yeah. Thank you, Mike Burbizzi. <laughs> Who are we missing? <laughs> Who? Kevin. Or, or Alex. 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 Ace. Ace. Ace Kevin. No, uh, that's our, our list of people who don't show. I know, but what if both of them did? Oh man, I'd have so much fun selling the fuck off. <laughs> I don't like to be mean to guests, but those two uh, have special split, a special place in my heart. Although Joaquin around you, I can't be too mad because he gave me two point two million dollars in advertising. Yeah, for free. <laughs> All right, line up, guys. Let's do this. That's what they call the juice. There's free food in there. Did I say stove? I meant tanning, man. <laughs> Welcome to the Auschwitz salon and spa. <laughs> 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 there is one now. <laughs> <laughs> really uh, cutting, move in. <laughs> Ryan, move in. It's like I'm a cop in the radio Auschwitz. I'm not kidding. You're supposed to be in the middle, so you're the winner. Let's uh, congratulate Kenneth. He got laid. Yeah. 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 Good job. Kenneth, man. you should be more happier that you got laid. Yeah. 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 He sounds a little disappointed. It's, right. it's who it was Is that right? a reflection of the sex? All right, let's take an <laughs> actual thing. Let's see who it was. Let's go with Tenor. Hey! Three, two, one. Schmee. 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 Not Daniel Kevin. Wasn't that, somebody, wasn't that somebody who was running for mayor? No, it's Schmee. 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 There needs to be a bar called Schmee's. There probably is. There, yeah, there probably is. For Captain Hood's psychic. There probably is. All right. I'm bouncing. Bye. Yep. Me too. <laughs> yeah. I got baby. I got baby in a body.